Hello, I'm Lowell Spears. Glad to be back with you again. A little something a little different today. We're going to do some fruit blossoms. If we got time, we're going to slip a butterfly on there. All right. Real simple. Simple painting. Got the magic white on already. I'm going to do a simple background, pretty much the same color. So I'm going to take the same brush that I put the magic white on, go into soft white. And phthalo green. I'm not going to use that color by itself. I don't like a lot of white on here, though. Let's gray it down. Let's put burnt sienna. That makes a pretty good, nice combination of color. Try this in some of your landscapes, some of your skies. It looks good. And let's just start up here. What I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to do like a branch coming out of a tree, you know, coming out of here with some blossoms and a, let's see if I can't get a, a, a monarch butterfly on it. Something a little different. And my blossoms, I'm going to make them uh, kind of a pink color, so that's why I kind of selected this green. It's, it makes a nice complement of that color. Notice how I'm mixing here. I'm doing little X's and it mixes the paint real good that way. If you just keep doing it straight, you're just pulling it straight down. But if you're crossing it like this, it mixes it. If your hand gets tired, hold down on the brush a little bit. With that magic white on there, it, just, it allows me to blend this color so easy and allows me to move it around. It sure takes the work out of it. Notice this little spot right here. See this little, you're going to get a canvas once in a while that has that little dimple in there. I can tell you, I can tell you what, a good way to get rid of that <clears throat> is to uh, take, take, a, uh, take two hammers, put one on the back of it this way and one on this side and just tap that hold it against there and then tap it like that and then smash that right down. Another way you could take a razor blade and maybe cut it cut it off but that works good. Also if your canvas happens to be a little loose put a little water on the back with on a paper towel allow a couple minutes and it's ready to go nice and tight. I like them nice and tight. Simple background let's, let's uh, take a sable brush, this is a large leaf brush we're going to put in our main limb here burr number Burn number and a little touch of orange. And a little bit of white. Makes a nice brown. And let's start up here at the top. Let's have a pretty good sized branch. And here, let's just make jerky movements. Now let's have, right here, anytime you have a little bend like this, this is a good place to pull out another branch, like there'd be a spot there or there. So let's pull one over this way. Let's let it just go right off the canvas. Now here would be another spot that could go back the other direction. And let's turn this one over. Let's cross it over. And when you, when you after you make that joint, Right here at this node here, just hook them together like that. <clears throat> and maybe we make a few short ones. And I'm going to pull one right out of here because I'm going to put this butterfly over here on, on a flower over here. That looks like an old limb that's... Let's just pull it right off the canvas. What the heck? I can come back in with a little darker color 
and pull in some lines, a little texture. You can also do that with the liner brush, and maybe we'll do that, some of that too, maybe. I feel like we need to do some more here. Let's do that. Okay, before we do any flowers, let's let's uh, let's make up a green here. I'm not. I'm just going to wipe the brush off. I'm not going to clean it. A little of that color in here is not going to hurt a thing. Let's start with yellow ochre, salo blue. Make a nice green. Fairly dark green. And I'm not going to. I'm not going to say. I'm just going to say fruit blossoms, fruit tree. I'm not doing any specific one. I'm just creating it out of my head. Maybe a little touch of burnt sienna in that, just a touch, to gray it down a little bit more. I'm going to test it and see if I'm happy with it. And I'm going to make most of these leaves like this. I'm going I'm to do a bunch of them, and I'm going to kind of describe for you how, what's going on here. I'm not thinking about where the flowers are going to go. Let's work around the canvas here a little bit. What you do need to do is load the brush nice and smooth, lots of paint. This is a real simple stroke. <clears throat> okay, let me let me describe it a little bit. First of all, I'll go over here and let's pick one of these out, like this right here on this top. Notice it has a round top right here. In order to make that portion of it first, you need to lean the brush this way. Lean it this way. Then you lean it down from the round, then you rotate it to that angle. Push it in and just twist it. Do the other side. You lean it down, lean it away from the round, pull it in and twist it. So let's just fire these in and we'll get on with something with our blossoms. See if we can get a butterfly to land on this. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on on these leaves or the flowers actually. I want to try to spend a little more time on that butterfly if we can. Put a couple right in the front. The rest of the trees over here at the left. <clears throat> okay, let's take a petal brush. And we got rose here and permanent red. And a little touch of white in that. Okay, I want that butterfly to set right up here. So I'm going to put a put a, a flower right there. He's going to be sitting right on top of that one. Some of these are on edge. If they're on edge, all you got to do is do like three lines like that. And let's put a few over here. Maybe this one you're, we're looking at it just a little bit more. And well, let's put one right here. Let's look at this one too. Okay, on this one over here, let's do another one here. And 
And let's, then let's go into a little more white here, and we'll put a couple highlights on that. White, little yellow ochre, and, and the base color that was on the flower. This is where our butterfly is going to be. He's going to be sitting on that one right there. Now, just put the color on the front of the color. Leave some of the back ones darker. The one that's looking at you here. Let's put like five petals. And the ones on the side, just like three. And let's go back with our liner brush now. Let's go back into our brown. And let's connect a few of these back to where they're hooked on to the main limb there. Maybe this one comes around here like that. And we can live with that one. It can be behind it. Also, I said maybe we'd use the liner brush on uh, some of our tree branches. Just watch. I'm going to put a little texture in here with that. Also, maybe we'll see a few dead, or not necessarily dead, but some that's sticking out like that. Just give it a little more character. Okay. Let's, let's see if we can't paint our butterfly there. You can sketch it first if you like. Maybe give you an idea of what's going on. Pretty good size. That's a big, mo big monarch here. And let's rough it in like this. This is his front wing here. He's going to be on the side. Let's take the liner brush with some of that brown. That's good enough for starters. And then his back wing goes down like this. This is part of the front wing right here, too. Now you kind of got an idea of what I'm going to do here. Let's take the, uh, the petal brush, I mean the uh, small leaf brush. It's a sable brush. A straight orange, a little touch of uh, burnt umber in that. And let's paint right over top of this other color. Maybe just a little more burn number. Now I can straighten that out a little bit. On this back one, let's just put a little more burn number in it. Paint right on top of that background color, no problem.
I feel like it should be just a little browner, so I'm going to go with a little more burnt umber in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. I'm going to try this brush. I'll try it. We've got black down here. Black, uh, let me lose a little touch of burn umber in there too. Black and burn umber. All right, we're going to put the outside edge of him on. Make that little rough right there. And then we're going to pull in some divisions in between. Same color. I'm just using that sharp edge of the, of the brush. Just black and burn umber. Maybe hold your breath a little bit. I suppose you're wondering why I wasn't saying anything. Try the liner brush with this too. I'm going back up here and blacken that up just a little bit. Okay, let's create his body there a little bit, some of his body showing. A little more burnt umber this time instead of so much black. Let's put a little head on right, right there. Maybe you see some of his tail sticking out right there. He's, he's sitting right down inside that flower. I didn't want to have to paint his legs anyway. I'm going to get the old liner brush out now and put some finishing touches on him. Let's see if we can't do his antenna here. I got it real sharp. What you can do also is use your other hand. You might have to steady your hand if you want to once in a while like this. I could do this all the time. A little antenna out there. A little push at the end. Say a little push. Maybe you could see a little part of his leg going down in there. Also, you remember I mentioned that you could put some of these lines in with this. Do it like this. Now, I don't have a butterfly in front of me. I'm just making this up. And the original one I painted before, I just made it up.
This is what I was telling you about, the other lines that you could put in here. It probably looks a little better with this brush. Have a little more control. Okay, take the liner brush. Let's get it dry. I'm gonna I'm gonna dip it into magic white. I'm gonna pull this up here so you can see what I'm doing. Magic white and a little touch of yellow ochre. And we're gonna put the little spots on him. This really what defines, I guess, the the monarch. Here again I'm gonna lay it down and steady my hand though. And let's just come in here and put some dots. At random, I don't, not, don't think about any pattern or anything. Tip it on the edge a little bit and you can make a, a round dot. See that? Let me work on his head here just a little bit more. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take go back to my flower. Now I'm going to Put this pedal up just a little bit higher here. Now he's setting down inside. Maybe we see another pedal there. Let's open it up a little bit. Okay, now we can, we can go back to some of our flowers and let's put a little dark center in there. Take our liner brush again. Let's go to some of our brown now. Some of our tree color here, let's put in, let's put in some little dark in here. On the ones that's looking at us. And maybe on this one up here. And then let's create a little a little stamen coming out of there. Let's let's go with some of our green color that we got mixed up. And let's put some little stamens coming out of there. Now when you do yours, you don't have to do you don't have to do these blossoms like I did. Do something else if you like. Do uh, sunflowers or roses or whatever. Let's hook this on there a little better. I'm gonna go, come on and hit a couple of the uh, highlights on a couple of the flowers. A little lighter color. Just a little more yellow ochre in it. Make them look just a little pinker. Maybe on this one up here too. A little push up there. See, I'm pushing the paint off of the edge, back side of the brush.
direct a stroke towards the center of the flower. I could have used the uh, small leaf brush for the same purpose. But show you that you can use, this is a pretty good sized brush for the size of flower I'm doing, but just show you to be versatile, you can use other brushes, small, bigger and smaller. But remember, I'm thinking about painting fast. I like to paint fast. The results is so much better. I'm just going to loosely put in a couple more blossoms here. Ones that's turned on edge, maybe. I don't like that one. I'm going to change it just a little bit. Pull that in front of that. Well, step back, take a look. I think we had a great time. Did you have a great time? Thanks a lot for joining me today. Until next time, happy painting. Bye.